the animation opens in a world known as Remnant. This world is where Clark, also known as Superman, regains his consciousness. He finds himself in a forest and in the middle of a fighting scene where he comes across two girls named Ruby and Yang, engaged in a battle with some creatures known as Grimm. Although he has no idea about where he is, he joins the girls to fight these Grimms because he is also under attack. While fighting, Clark realizes that he isn't as strong as he could remember. Regardless, he assists the girls in the fight, and after a while, they successfully fight off the creatures. After the fight, Clark introduces himself to Ruby and Yang, who let him know where he is. Clark has no memories about how he got to Remnant, only pictures of his last battle with the Justice League. In his broken memories, he remembers being an adult, as opposed to his current reality in which he is a teenager. After hearing about his ordeal, Ruby and Yang reveal that the creatures which they fought were stronger and more equipped than they used to be. With so many unanswered questions in their minds, the girls decide to head to their school to get questions from a man named Ozpin. At one of the homes in Remnant, Diana, the Princess of Amazon, who is also known as Wonder Woman is brought in by some guards. This is the home of Blake, one of the heroes of Remnant, and her mother. Diana, however, fights the guards off and unbound herself from the handcuffs which were placed on her. She announces that she needs help, so Blake lets down her guard a bit and listens to what she has to say. Diana has also had the same experience as Clark, as she arrived at Remnant as a teenager with no memories, except that of her last battle with the Justice League. All of this sounds strange to Blake, so she decides to put a call through to the rest of her teammates, but she is notified by her mother that the communication systems are down. Having no other way to contact her team, Blake decides to take Diana to a place named Beacon to meet Ozpin, who she feels would have a solution. At this same time, an upper-class party is being held in another part of Remnant. Weiss, one of Blake's team members, is bothered about the malfunctioning of the communication system, and she goes to her father to complain. Weiss's father is responsible for the daily running and functioning of the communication system in Remnant, but this time, he isn't bothered about the malfunction. Seeing her father's nonchalant attitude towards the matter at hand, Weiss storms off while her dad returns to conversing with other elites. She climbs the stairs and begins heading to a solitary place in the building as she continuously tries to contact her teammates. Her attention is drawn to a costume laying on the floor, which she later puts away in a dark room. Coming out of the room, she is surprised to see a stranger standing in front of it. This stranger is Bruce Wayne, also known as Batman, and he had found himself at Remnant like the rest of the Justice League. Bruce, however, introduces himself to Weiss but does not reveal the circumstances that brought him to Remnant. Some moments later, Vice's father lets out an alarm that his lab keys have been stolen, and it is obvious that Bruce is the one with them. He tries to escape, but Weiss prevents him from doing so and a fight breaks out. Now, in the middle of the fight, Bruce tries to tell her the truth about his arrival in Remnant, but Weiss does not listen to him. She freezes him with ice, but he breaks out, thanks to his wings, which he recently developed at Remnant. Batman flies about in the hall, with no control over his newly found power. After a while, he crashes to the floor and the guards surround him to take him away, while Weiss watches, confused about what he had told her during their fight. At the other end, Superman, Ruby, and Yang arrive at their school to meet Ozpin. There, they see Blake and Wonder Woman, so the two groups greet their teammates. Diana is happy to see Clark, and they both question the reason for their arrival at Remnant, and also why they are teenagers. Blake, Yang, and Ruby also realize that they aren't in their actual reality but have been taken back in time. While they are still confused, Ozpin walks in and asks that they follow him. Although he looks different and acts suspiciously, they all follow him, as they have no choice. At another hall in the school, the Flash, Cyborg, Vixen, and Jessica, the Green Lantern, sit through a class session with three other teens from Remnant. The members of the Justice League are confused about how they arrived at Remnants and why they are at the school. After a while, the teacher takes them through a sparring session where the two groups fight each other. Superman, Wonder Woman, Blake, Ruby, and Yang interrupt this fight and the different teams unite with the rest of their mates. Ruby, the leader of the Heroes of Remnant, introduces the rest of her teammates, Nora, Jean, and Ren to Diana and Clark. Batman, on the other hand, is placed in a cell where he spends time practicing his flying powers. Weiss visits him and reveals that she believes that something weird is going on, just like he explained. So, he gets himself out of the cell and they both decide to find the root cause of the issue. With the lab key in their possession, they head to the lab to embark on their mission. Back at Beacon, the Justice League tries to figure out where Batman would be. Jessica has had a problem finding her Green Lantern ring since she arrived at Remnant, so she mentions it to the team. The twelve of them then split into groups, one to find Bruce, 
another to go check out the unusual creatures called Grimm, and the remaining to join Jessica in finding her ring. Now they are all out to find answers to the mystery surrounding them. Bruce and Weiss gain entrance into the lab after fighting off some numbers of Grimm's, while Ruby, Clark, Vixen, Ren, Flash, Cyborg, and Nora head back to the forest to find the Grimm's. At Beacon, Jessica and John go searching for her Green Lantern ring at Ozpin's office, where Ruby mentioned that she last saw it. But on arriving there, the ring is nowhere to be found, and this spikes Jessica's anxiety. The ring is the source of her power and with it, she takes control of situations, but without it, she feels useless. Jean on the other hand, calms her down and uses his powers to help her tap into her inner abilities. They later find out that everything they had been seeing is a virtual reality, and that they are neither on Remnant nor on Earth. They head out to find their teammates to inform them that someone has trapped them all in an illusion, and that person controls the place. Diana formed a group with Yang and Blake, to head over to Atlas to look for Bruce and Weiss. On their way, they are attacked by Grimm's whom they put extra effort into defeat, after which they continue on their journey to Atlas. In the forest, Superman's team is attacked by a wyvern, a gigantic Grimm which gives rise to other Grimm's. The team squares up and engages in a fierce battle in which the Flash is injured. According to Ruby, the wyvern is different from the one they normally battle and too strong for them to defeat, so the team goes for an alternative plan. Cyborg creates an electric charge strong enough for Nora to absorb and take the wyvern down, while others fight off the smaller Grimm's. The energy released clears off the entire Grimm's leaving just the defeated wyvern. The entire group is relieved, but their relief is short-lived as the wyvern comes back alive and splits into two, creating two Grimm's. At the school, Jean and Jessica are still trying to find their way out to get their discovery across to the rest of the team. However, Jean hears a woman's voice, this voice belongs to his old-time friend named Fira, whom he lost. Fira's voice offers to help him find his way out, he refuses to believe at first because it is an illusion, but he later gives in. So, Jessica and Jean follow the signals which the voice drops to direct them, but after walking for a while, they still arrive at a dead end. At this end, Jean sees Fira, and she volunteers to show them the way out. But unknown to them, she is also an illusion that was used to deceive Jean. She leads them to a dark room and locks them inside, so they would not be able to tell the Justice League about their findings. Meanwhile, back in the forest, the team is gradually being overpowered by the Grimm, and they are exhausted. Back at the Atlas, Bruce, and Weiss discover a strange program in the communications system. So, they decide to alter it to bring an end to whatever they are in they get interrupted by another set of Grimm's whom they go out to fight. This fight goes on for a while and Bruce is overpowered, leaving just Weiss to face the creatures. Fortunately, Diana, Yang, and Blake arrive right enough to render help to fight off the creatures. At the school, Jean calls out for help from the room in which they were locked in but does not get any response or help. He apologizes to Jessica for trusting Fira and putting them in their current condition. Suddenly, the walls of the room start closing in on them and Jessica becomes very anxious because she is claustrophobic. Jean does all that he can to try to calm her down because only she has the power to let them out. He encourages her not to give in to fear but tap into her inner abilities, which do not need the ring to function. At Atlas, Weiss reveals to Yang and Blake that they are in an illusion and are neither on Remnant nor Earth. Diana and Bruce reunite, and she is surprised to see that he has wings. She brings up talk about returning to Earth but Bruce lets her know that returning to Earth means that he is going to lose his newly found powers. He then concludes that he would return with Weiss and her team back to Remnant after they find a way out. This revelation from Bruce hurt Diana. They all get into the lab and watch as Weiss fixes the communication system. With the communication lines back to work, they track the rest of the heroes and are terrified to see that they are battling both a wyvern and a leviathan. So, they gear up to join them in the fight. Meanwhile, Jean and Jessica are still at the school with the walls of the room almost about to crush them. Jessica, after trying for so long, finally gets the hang of her powers and gets herself and Jean out of the room. In the forest, Superman, Ruby, Vixen, Nora, Cyborg, Flash, and Ren are still engaged in battle, but are gradually having the upper hand. They are joined by Diana, Weiss, Yang, and Blake who join forces with them to fight the Grimm, Wyvern, and Leviathan. Some moments later, Jessica and Jean arrive at the scene, and they inform the team that they are in virtual reality. At this point, they are puzzled about who would have held them captive in the virtual world, and Batman arrives with an answer. He reveals that the Flash is behind all of it, explaining that the reason for his sudden slowness is that he is running an equation named Kilgore, through all the computers of the virtual world. The Flash then tries to run away, but he is caught up and questioned. Kilgore had taken over Barry during the last fight with the Justice League and had taken them to the virtual world, 
to trap them. He worked together with a villain and remnant, who also ensured that Ruby and her teammates were trapped with the Justice League. A fierce fight breaks out, with the Justice League and Ruby's team joining forces against Kilgore. After fighting for a while, Weiss subdues him, so Barry phases out of Kilgore's control and passes out. Now without control, Kilgore goes into the wyvern and charges it against the team. The Flash gives Jessica her ring back and they all square up for the final battle against Kilgore and his Grimms. The battle kicks off with the heroes fighting with all that they have, but unfortunately, they are outnumbered. So, they decide to split up and fight off the Grimms, while Ruby, Jessica, and Jean find their way to the wyvern. The rest of the team fights off the Grimms and creates an open space for Jessica to use her powers on the wyvern. She goes head-on with the beast and blasts it using her powers, giving Kilgore nowhere to stay. Now with the battle over, the heroes decide to find a way to return to their different worlds. They return to the lab, where they bid their farewells as Green Lantern uses her powers to break through the program where they are trapped. She successfully opens two portals for Earth and Remnant, through which the heroes pass through. Bruce changes his mind and decides to return to Earth, where his friends and family are. Ruby and her team finally regain their consciousness after being trapped in a training mission created by someone who wanted them gone. Now their task is to figure out who this person is and bring him down. Thank you for watching guys, if you love animation movies, please subscribe to this channel and keep watching. Bye.